There you go. Is, is it on already? Or? Okay. What's up YouTube? Rides all day boy here just explaining to you guys about more of my mood and I'm gonna really break it down in this video. I really did not break it down good enough in my other video. You were looking at me and I just came across another uh, you know amazing tip. You know this this move you can use it on wall flips, you can use it on palm flips, you can use it on uh, gainers, uh, mick twist, anything. This move is a, a compound to break down anything you're afraid of. So more, and explaining more about this move. So I was testing some things out today to see how could I get past the fear. Because before I was doing, you know, moon slicer just to do a backflip. And I was thinking to myself, how can I do a backflip with moon slicer and grab my knees? How can I mechanically tell my brain inside my head that I'm not afraid? So what I did is I came across the uh, free move. And what this move does is it's amazing. I mean, it should be like worldwide. I mean, this move, it's it's so amazing and original like that the average person can learn this. But it is tough to land. You just gotta practice. But coming in with this move, I'm gonna show you a moon slicer grabbing my knees and I'm gonna break down how I got past the fear of getting to the part where I would grab my knees and do a back tuck, but into a moon slicer. So let's explain it a little more. So remember, your foot's gonna be about 35 degrees, maybe about 75 about here. And your other foot, if you can see, I'm making a moon. See this? It's a moon. Look, it's a moon. When you make that moon, you wanna make sure that your back foot is not up here. You get no power. I learned how I created this move. This move is with your foot behind you. You get more power. So watch. I'm going to show you one real quick. Just going to break it down. Concentrate. There you go. So see, uh, the move it, it works. Breaks down the, the fear, and as you saw, I just did a moon slicer grabbing my knees. Um, compound to break that down, before I came here, I was afraid to grab my knees. I mechanically cannot do it. My body was saying, you know, the hesitant, not doing that. So with this move, guys, I'm gonna explain. So let me turn around. Basically, in my video, I'm explaining. This is your left foot. Your left foot should be pointed like this. So say you're looking at that wall. Your foot, your foot should be pointed about like that. So you're making a move. Your other foot should be pointed behind it. So the power, all the momentum from the power that you jump is pushing off this foot, pushing off this foot, and throwing it up and over. Which is gonna give you the power to get around for the back foot and not be afraid. Another thing awesome about this move that I created, as you can see, I did another clean moon slicer for you. It's not a back flip, but more so, it's almost the same. But again, when you do this, guys, don't try to grab your knees right away. Mechanically, take the move slow. Work your way from the back handspring a little higher, and then just take it up, lean back, focus, and just let your body do the work for you. Watch, let your body, you know, uh, do the work for you. As long as you let your body do the work for you, it will work out. Okay. Does it actually look like a backflip or does it look like I'm actually something you've never seen before? Uh, what you've done? Uh, does it, am it's I, going fast. Am so. I going up or am I going up, 
over, around, and transferring my weight from like left. Shit, I didn't pay attention that much to it, you know? Alright, tell me if I'm doing that. Yeah. Alright guys, aka okay, again guys, uh, this is going to be part two. I'm going to put the videos together. So this is the second part for the breakdown for the tuck. So um, before you guys start tucking, I highly suggest you do this move from a backhand perspective and then kind of lean more into your body. So think as if your arms are here, bring your arms to you, and when your arms are up, swing, bring your arms up, and go with the flow. Follow the moon, follow your body, and follow yourself with the moon slicer. I'm going to do one clean moon slicer, I'm going to wrap it up, and I'm going to break down step by step what I just did and how to do it. Step one, foot here is going to be about 35 degrees. Step two, foot's going to be about here. It should be lined up. If you're making the move, you're doing it correctly. And your momentum, if you're doing it correctly, you should be able to lean back on your back foot. Make sure your foot's pretty far back because you need a lot of momentum to do this. So when your foot's behind you, you're just going to lean your, keep your arms up, and just go for it. And remember, believe in yourself. This move is protective, it's safe, and it will help you. That's why I created it. So as long as you do everything I'm telling you, you should be fine. Here we go, Moon Slicer. Uh, that's that's uh, the, the pretty much the moon slicer. Um, the more you do it, the more comfortable you become with the move. I'm telling you right now, when I first came to this place today, to decide and think, what could I do to get past the fear of doing a standing back tuck, or not, no, uh, of doing a moon slicer grabbing my knees, which I've never done before. <laughs> um, I was thinking to myself, I'm not going to make it, I'm afraid, and stuff. So I kept, I kept thinking to myself, how, how, what can I do with this move? There's a lot of stuff. So as I was sitting down thinking and thinking and thinking, I just wind it up. Before I knew it, I was winding up. And when I was winding up, it, it just clicked. So guys, I'm going to do one more move slicer. And uh, guys, good luck. Remember what I told you, stay strong, stay confident. Believe in yourself, trust the move. And remember for the move, one more time, your foot should be pointed 35 degrees, and your other foot should be pointed like this, behind it. That way, you're making a move. As you can see, I'm making a move. See, he's got his foot, he's got his camera angle. You come around for You gotta cut the camera angle. See, I'm making a move. Foot forward, going around in a move, okay? That's the stance, lean back, go for it. So I'm gonna do one more. That's it. Um, I, I could do it from this direction. I don't really care which way I do it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, one more. I'm kind of tired right now. It's been a long day. All right, so one more. Remember, step one, 35 degrees, like this. Remember, it's very important. You don't want to mess up on that. Step two, your back foot is going to be leaning back behind you, and it's going to be in a move. So your both feet should be working together at the same time. When you feel confident, you'll know when you're ready to grab your knees. Don't grab your knees if you're not ready. Your body will tell you when you're mechanically confident and ready to do it, like I did. You'll know. After that, so step one, 35 degrees. Step two, your foot should be pointed about another 75 to 35 degrees this way. You should be pointing out like this. Then, step three, moon slicer. Remember, jump up, tuck, lean back, just like a back flip, same thing, but a little different. You're just going to be transferring your momentum left. All right? And here we go, moon slicer. momentum in that talk you saw I was like in the air forever I was like ah, I'm never gonna come down I land so clean I was like ah. you know what I mean like a gymnast so that's how you do it 
Moon Slicer works. Work on it. Train with it. Practice with it. Guys, please rate, comment, subscribe. I work really hard to figure this out. This does work. It, I just came back from I, I just, I'm telling you right now, I promise on my life, on anything and everything I have right now, if I were to die right now on this day on my grave, I'm being honest on the Bible with my hand on it. Mm -hmm.